heat, fatigue, and thirst. For Ahmed, the reward after 12 hours of walking is water. Like other nomads living in Djibouti, Ahmad moves around according to where he can get water. A good yield will sustain him for two days, only if he rations carefully. And all the searching is not always guaranteed to find water. So we have to send one guy to check. If there's no, there no water there, when he comes back, he will tell to us there's no water there. So we have to keep our water. We, we have to give, give animals, we have to cook for the kids and for everything. It's enough. So that's why we have to come every day then he and check the water or not. As for the water cleanness issue, Ahmed says it is a problem they cannot afford to think about. You see, upstairs it's up pink. Everything can be inside the water. Nobody can protect this water. Nobody can save this water. So we are not, we are no choice. We have to drink this water or we have to die without water. Ahmad's homeland, Djibouti, is a country that suffers from chronic water shortages. A single drop is precious. 95% of the country's water comes from underground. Due to the nearby ocean, the water in Djibouti is bitter and soggy. Even though surrounded by the sea, Djibouti still faces its huge problem of dealing with underground surface water. To give you a vivid example, the Slim Lake where I am standing represents the general status of surface water in Djibouti. The salt proportion in this lake behind me is around 34%, which is 10 times higher than the average salt proportion of global oceans. Desalination, however, is not an affordable solution to Djibouti. Fortunately, the fate of Ahmed and other Djibouti residents will be changed soon. This is one of the 28 wells that will support a planned water project. It will bring clean and safe water all the way from Ethiopia to Djibouti. Lu Jinda is the project manager at this water project that will bring nearly 82% of the population in Djibouti. It has been six months since we started construction. This cross-border water project is the largest of its kind in Africa. The water quality has been tested in this area. It can meet the World Health Organization standards for drinking water. The entire route for the pipeline will extend 360 kilometers. 60 of those kilometers will require the builders to break through these unfriendly rocks. As we drive further along the project route, the environment becomes even more inhospitable. Sometimes we have to stop shooting due to heavy winds and dusty conditions. Siyum is an Ethiopian consultant who has worked in the industry for more than two decades. His job is to inspect the new project. So for the last six months, the Chinese company has fully engaged how to implement this project in this area. As you see, the area is very harsh very desert area. With all these uh, circumstances, they have tried to withstand this problem and started the project with this Chinese company. They are doing well. They are doing perfect now. A few hundred kilometers away in Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia, Astamola is enjoying the benefit of one completed water project. Before February this year, Austria only had access to water two to three times per week. Yeah, when this project is coming, we can't drink because we are clean. Before we never drank, we buy like uh, packed water, but now we can drink here. Also, we can cook food by this water. We can wash our body or something. So. This deep wells water supply project has benefited nearly 700,000 residents like Astor. The water resources in Ethiopia are abundant. The problem is the limit of utilization for these resources. Our company came to Ethiopia more than a decade ago. We've helped them to build several water plants. The pump station is used for the deep water project, which is able to cover 20% of the clean water usage every day in the capital city. The increasing demand of water usage has introduced another problem, how to deal with wastewater. 
For now, wastewater just flows into the river and is harmful to the environment. The country's first wastewater treatment plant is under construction and will be completed late next year. In its neighboring country, Djibouti, within 20 months, Ahmad and 750,000 other residents will also be able to enjoy clean and safe water. When we ask him what this water project means to him, he said it means hope. Xuanjing, CCTV.